Hello, good morning viewers. So many people do not know my real name. So my name is Lukman Hosseini. Wild Tambol is the name of my local government of origin. So back to business. There is another form of Laplace transform which I want to discuss before moving on to how to find the inverse Laplace. Which is in the form of Laplace transform of t to some power multiplying another function which you can easily find the Laplace transform of. So whenever you are given a function in this form, all you have to do, there is a formula which will always guide us in finding the Laplace transform in this form, which is negative one to the power of n, and this n is this power of t, times the n derivative with respect to s of the Laplace transform of that function of t, which is this. So, you take negative one raised to the power of this n. If n is equal to two, therefore you have to raise this negative one to the power of two, and you have to take the second derivative of the Laplace transform of this, and the Laplace transform of this function is this one. Suppose we ask to find the Laplace transform of t times sine 2t while t is to the first power. Uh, this is the same thing as negative 1 raised to the power of 1 because the power of t is 1 times the first derivative because the power of t is still 1 of the Laplace transform of a uh, function of t which is sine 2t sine 2t First of all, we are going to find the Laplace transform of this sine 2t. Then we take the first derivative of the result, then later on multiply by negative 1. So this is equal to negative 1 d over ds of the Laplace transform of sine 2t, which is going to be 2 from the formula divided by s squared plus 2 squared this two. Next we are going to take the derivative of this function using quotient rule. This is equal to negative one times. Uh, using quotient rule we say bottom times the derivative of the top and the derivative of the top since it is constant is zero multiplied by this function is still zero minus top times the derivative of the button and the top is 2 uh, and the derivative of the button is just 2s because this is constant it is 0 divide by button squared which is s squared plus 4 all squared now let us further simplify uh, this is 0 minus this will still be this. Negative 2 times 2s is going to be uh, negative 4s. Multiply by this other negative, it is going to be positive 4. So this is equal to positive 4s divided by s squared plus 4 all to the second power. So this is our new function of s, which is the Laplace transform of this function. The method remains the same for all other functions like t times cos t, t times exponential t, t times other uh, functions of t. So now there is another one which I want to display. Suppose we are asked to find the Laplace transform of t multiplied by exponential t sine sin t. Here we have three functions multiplying each other. But the logic remains the same. We have negative 1 to the first power because the power of t is 1 times the first derivative of the Laplace transform of what is left, which is exponential t sine sin t. We still have two other functions multiplying each other, which we have to find the Laplace transform of using shifting theorem. So let me use this space to find the Laplace transform of this. 
this will give us a new function of s minus a and to obtain this new function of s minus a we are going to first of all find the Laplace transform of sine t then we replace s with s minus a and this a is the coefficient of this t which e is raised to so we say first of all let us find the Laplace transform of sine t which is equal to 1 which is the coefficient of t over s squared plus 1 squared which is the coefficient of t which is still 1 so to find the Laplace transform of exponential t sine t we replace s with s minus the coefficient of this t which is 1 so this is equal to 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1 so this is the Laplace transform of this function therefore we can bring this one back and continue this is equal to negative 1 d over ds of the Laplace transform of this which is already 1 divided by s minus 1 squared plus 1 So we are going to find the first derivative of this function using quotient rule. This is equal to negative one times button times the derivative of the top. And the derivative of the top is zero times this will make it zero minus top, which is one times the derivative of this, but one will not change the derivative of this. So, but the derivative of this will be this two will come down to multiply by s minus one. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is s minus one. And the derivative of s minus one is just one. So it's like we are going to multiply here by one. Divide by bottom squared. And the bottom squared is s minus one squared plus one all to the second power. Zero minus this will still be minus this. So we expand this by saying negative two times positive s, which is equal to negative two s. Negative two times negative one is positive two. Divide by. If we distribute negative one in, we are going to obtain, this time this will make it positive, 2s. This time this will make 2 negative. Divide by, which is our new function of s. So this is the Laplace transform of this function. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to hit the like button.